Hey, before we get started, don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, and hit that notification button. Hey, welcome Transformers fans, my fellow geek gals and geek guys. Thanks for coming back for another episode of Mixelpix Transformers Time Warp. I'm Mike. Today's episode is the channel's first ever exclusive pre-release review of something which comes to us from Michael Lorber of Freelance Graphics. The same Michael Lorber who's responsible for those awesome MP scale charts which cover most if not all titles in the G1 and Aligned Universes. Two of which were recently reviewed on Ben's Collectibles YouTube channel, and if you've been on my Instagram you might have seen a few of them posted. You can order any of them by emailing Mike at freelancegraph at hotmail.com, and I've left a link to one of his chart posts on Facebook in the video description. To illustrate this pre-release review, today's episode will feature these two bots, MP10 Optimus Prime, and MP44 Optimus Prime. Now, Mike, you might be saying, what in the world could you possibly be doing with two Optimus Primes? Well, we're gonna see if these two bots will fit in this box. Now, not necessarily in this box, but the thing that's inside this box. This is a box that he designed done in the G1 style, uh, specifically tailored to fit your MP10. So while we know that it should fit the MP10, we're also gonna check out to see if it'll fit the MP44. Full disclosure, I went in on this project as a sponsor and the Mixelpix logo is on a few of the panels. I love this label. Mike says that he does it for all the packages he sends out. And here's an up close look of the bot of the hour. Love that dynamic pose. Thanks Mike, nice touch. And as a point of reference for scale, let's bring in one of our MP scale standards, MP10 Optimus Prime. And as I'm sure you've heard before, now there's nothing to it but to do it. So here comes the moment that I've been waiting for, anticipating. I'm really excited to see this. So let's get this box open. I'm seeing some printed goodness behind some of this wrap. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. How awesome does that look so far? Complete with an insert inside there. That's uh, some dark gray um, foam as the insert. Yeah. Wow. All right. Whoa. How awesome looking is that? All that G1 goodness. I mean, look at that, the box, uh, windows even cut out in the shape of Optimus Prime's cab. Um, let's see how this works. Let's take a look at some of these details here on the box. Right off the bat, we've got the Freelance Graphics logo here, Mike Lorber's graphics design company. And uh, next to it, we've got, look at that G1 goodness right there, Autobot Commander Optimus Prime. And it's even got ages 15 and up, includes snap-on weapons and accessories. How cool is that? Up top, we've got um, product shots, all featuring MP10. And over here is an actual shot of MP10 representing that illustration. Very, very cool. Updating G1 for the Masterpiece Collector. And on top, we've got the classic transformation sequence on the top of the box, complete with the arrows. That is great. And the final masterful position of Optimus Prime there, standing heroic. One end of the box. Here we go, we've got the logo, we've got the product photography, the name, and there we go. We got the Mixelpix sponsorship. <laughs> Thank you, Mike. And uh, let's see, just to be complete, the other panel, which is the same as the previous panel. Here we go. The bottom panel, 
Look at that, he even went to the full extent of doing the bottom panel. This is really cool. <laughs> and the product photography against the grid. So cool. And replicating the battle scene on the back of some G1 packages, some epic toy photography slash art by Michael Kincaid, used with his permission. Holy cat. How amazing does that look? I mean, look at all this MP scale goodness going on here. Even down to a couple of these background characters, looks like that's Huffer, and I don't know who the other bot is, but just epic. Thank you, Michael Kincaid. This is an amazing piece of art, and uh, this box wouldn't be the same without it. And if you don't know who Michael Kincaid is, you might otherwise know him on Instagram as The Reflector Files. He's a graphic designer himself, and he knows his toy photography. If you don't follow him, check out his account. Lots of cool Transformers stuff. I think he also is on YouTube, but I don't know what his handle is there. Maybe it's Reflector Files as well. But um, The Reflector Files, We've got a beautiful recreation of MP10's tech specs here and his bio card, complete with uh, Transformers points. How cool is that? There we go. One last little bit here, look at that. Even a barcode and there's the sponsorship again from Mixelpix. I am really happy to be a part of this and um, I hope that if you've got an MP10 or MP44 that you might wanna pick one of these up as well. Just a really cool thing to commemorate being a part of the fandom and um, display your MP10 and hopefully MP44. I'm gonna enjoy having this in my collection as part of the memory of the fandom and of uh, the experience of collecting MP scale toys as long as it fits my MP10. So we'll have to see that too. So rubber meets the road, um, that's what it comes down to. Will MP10 fit? Mike Lorber has already tested it, so I am 100% sure that it's going to fit. Uh, but let's see how MP10 fits inside. Believe it or not, I think this is only the second time that I've taken the trailer out of MP10's box. Um, and I've got a little scratch here that um, I hadn't noticed before. So uh, I guess it's a little bit of a manufacturing blemish. Kind of a bummer. Also got some uh, kind of light chatter here on this railing detail. Not sure why that is. Oh well. All right, here we go. Foam. Ooh. Glassine window. Or some, you know, some kind of plastic. It's a nice tight fit to the box. So that's a good start. Take a look inside here. All glued together. That window is glued in there. Box is still looking very cool. It looks like a fit. All right. It fits. It's uh, snug at the trailer for some reason. It's actually sticking out a little bit, if you can see. But um, hopefully that won't cause any problem to go into the box itself. And the rear wheels also are kind of sticking out from the, uh, the foam. But let's get it in its slipcase. One thing that I neglected to mention about the cardboard is that it actually seems to be kind of plasticized. So it's got a nice kind of, uh, well, it's actually the print, you can actually feel the print here, the white lettering. Um, and then the cardboard itself does feel smooth, um, slight pebbly finish uh, to the fingertip. So it, it is a nice print. Um, yeah, just FYI. However, it does show some of the cracks, uh, not some, but it does show the cracks along the, uh, along the edge. So you may see that, and uh, that's just the way it is. Pop the panel open a little, no problem. 
it's got the uh, cut corners so that it'll insert easier, I guess. And that closes nicely. Oop, it opens nicely. And holy cat, that is looking beautiful. <laughs> oh my gosh. The only problem I can tell is this accent here, this little gray box is a little too low uh, to reveal the character. So that should actually be cut up a little bit higher. Um, this is cool having that little tab there because it just blocks the blank space in between the cab and the trailer. But um, yeah, you're really kind of missing out on uh, seeing the top of Optimus Prime here. So that's definitely something that could be uh, adjusted. Um, but overall, I mean, look at that. Can you imagine walking into your uh, favorite Toys R Us store when you were a kid and coming across this behemoth? Oh my gosh, uh, this is like just a dream come true. Uh, gotta hand it to you, Mike Lorber. Thank you very much for doing this. Thank you for uh, all the time that you put into it, all the heart and passion, and thanks for letting me be a part of it. Really, really cool. It's working great for MP10. How awesome is that? Okay, so we know that MP10 fits nicely inside this box. Now the question is, does MP44? Let's find out. Oh, and one thing I forgot, the instruction booklet and uh, package with the uh, card in it and all that stuff, will this fit in the box? And I think it will. Maybe the bottom of the package instead. Uh, all right, but it looks like it's gonna fit. It's just a matter of, uh, getting it to feed in there well. There you are. Now you can have your complete Optimus Prime MB10 in a box with his instructions, accessories, everything. MP44, I've had this guy for a while. I haven't opened it yet. So this is a little bit of an unboxing video as well. Although we're not gonna get into all those details. So. Just FYI, this is a brand new bot and I'm gonna open it up. Still have the tape there. And there you go, tape. Whoa, cool. Get to see him right out of the gate. Wow, that is really cool. I don't know if you can see, but spark plug is actually turned completely backwards. Almost missed this, but uh, there's the instruction manual and the collector's card. The trailer and Optimus himself. And the rest of this will have to be for another day. Let's see how this version of Optimus fits. Okay, I'm nervous here. I don't think this is gonna fit, uh, but let's see. Let's try the trailer first. Okay. We can get the trailer to fit. Trailer, okay. How about the cab? The cab fits. Now, I don't think that the cab and trailer will fit. No. So, um, the trailer sits too far back on Optimus for it to fit as it's supposed to be connected when it's in alt mode. But maybe we can make this work. Okay, something like that. And yes, after a fashion, you can get it to fit. So you still have that similar problem with uh, the trailer actually sticking out a little bit, but otherwise it does fit pretty well. Let's see how it looks inside the cardboard box itself. Yeah, 
And there you go. It actually does fit. So uh, that is pretty awesome. So if you're um, you know, in for it and you want this for your MP44, it will fit after a fashion. Um, about the instruction booklet and collector's card packet, will it also fit in this box? Fold that over. And yes, it indeed will fit inside the box. The instruction booklet is not too wide. About all of the accessories fitting in the trailer, like I said, this has been the unboxing of MP44 right here. That remains a question as to whether or not all of the accessories will fit in the trailer so that you can indeed say that all of MP44 fits inside this box. So if you've got MP10 or MP44 and you want a G1 style box for one of them, this is an awesome option. I've talked to Mike at Freelance Graphics and asked him about an MP44 version, and he's not opposed to doing that, but you know, um, it's gotta be something that he's financially able to do. So if there's not demand, then uh, you know we're not really gonna get uh, an MP44 box, but this MP10 box is really, really cool. And at the request of user The New Darkness, how about G1 Optimus Prime? Now this is my original G1 Optimus Prime from when I was a kid. Um, so excuse the dustiness, excuse the, uh, the lack of repair, but uh, this was well loved and played with. You can really see he's lost a lot of his chrome there on his legs. And uh, I've still got the fists, so that's cool. I still hide there in his chest. And uh, let's see how he does. And no problem. <laughs> I think the only problem would be that he would roll around inside the box. So um, there you have it. This custom G1 style uh, box for MP10 Optimus Prime. Looks great, works well, and uh, it's gonna be a really cool part of my collection. As I pointed out with that top crease on the top of the box uh, where the print is breaking up along that corner, I have noticed that the panel that was getting flexed quite a bit to put the bots in and out with the tray, it has frayed quite a bit. I had to tamp down uh, those edges uh, to make them look as good as they do here. It actually looked worse, it looked more frayed. So that is a critique that we definitely have to acknowledge uh, as part of this box. Um, hopefully that's something that Mike can do something about. If not, um, yeah, it's just gonna be one of the little foibles of this custom piece. All right, Transformers fans, my fellow geek gals and geek guys, that's it for my first ever exclusive Masterpiece pre-release review. We've seen that it actually does fit three generations of Optimus Prime, the G1 Optimus Prime with plenty of room, MP10, and uh, with a little bit of doing, MP44. So I hope you've enjoyed seeing this. If you're interested in ordering one of these Masterpiece Optimus G1 homage boxes for your MP10 or MP44, make sure to contact Michael Lorber on Facebook or via email at freelancegraph at hotmail.com. Also, his Facebook page can be found directly by searching for Freelance Graphics, that's with a K, and the link is also in the description below. Freelance Graphics is currently developing an interest list, and if there's enough interest, Michael Lorber will be producing the boxes. I hope you enjoy this as part of your Masterpiece Scale collection. If you're interested in any of the Freelance Graphics TF Scale charts, a link to one of Michael's Facebook posts is in the description below, and you can email him to order any of them. And finally, thanks to all you subscribers and viewers out there. Hit those like and subscribe buttons if you haven't already. This episode has been filled with mics, and I'm one of them. Until next time, be well, and happy collecting, everybody.